36, another one on solving, uh, sort of a different form. Uh, but again, there's two of these. Um, there's twice as many problems in the practice as there is in the actual exam. So I, I know this takes a while to get through, but it's very valuable. And um, so this is something we should be doing. Um, now, one thing you may say, okay, take this, since we've got two times the natural log, should I put that as an exponent? Well, it's right now it's out here, it's, it's multiplication. So actually the best way to deal with this is let's divide both sides by two. Okay, and this logarithm, what we wanna think of is it's completely something by itself. So this two divides into that two and negative four divided by two is gonna be negative two. So uh, I don't know, give myself some space here. So this is the natural log of four X equals negative two. Okay, now we wanna do the log dance which I explained in the previous. So if, if you skipped over 35, I'll, I'll ask you to go back to 35 and see what the log dance is all about. Or if you pick it up from here, that's great. Natural log, I'm gonna rewrite that as that's log base e, 4x equals negative two. So what we're going to do is the log dance is that the base of the logarithm is the base of the exponential uh, the answer here to the logarithm is actually the exponent on the exponential and the input to the logarithm is the answer to the exponential. And now what we want to do is uh, to finish solving for x, we divide both sides by 4. It did not give us a fraction key, but uh, well, that's okay. Do not round it in your mid, round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So, and they give us a calculator. So actually, we're gonna plug this in. We're not gonna just leave it as E. Um, so I guess, well, yeah, we had to probably get it to this stage. Let's see, where do I wanna go now? I want to, let's go back to blue. So this is gonna say that X equals E to the minus two over four. We'll just leave it like that. This cancels, right? e to the minus two over four. If you want, uh, we're gonna use a calculator, so we'll, we'll do it this way. The negative exponent you can move down, so this is one over four times e squared. I'm gonna enter it in the calculator this way, and then we can look at it this way. We'll see, we'll get the same answer either way. Um, so wherever you feel more comfortable with. So let's get our calculator out here. Let's go. Um, so let's put this in as e to the minus 2. Where's our, here's e to the x, right? e always has an exponent, minus 2. And then we're going to put that, we're going to divide that by 4. We've got to come down. So again, I do my right arrow. It brings me down here. Um, I'm going to do divided by 4. And that gives us this as our answer, 0 0.03. We want to the nearest hundredth. Uh, 0 0.03, 3 is the next one, so this is just going to be 0 0.03, hundredths is the second place, 0 0.03. And just as a follow-up, I'm going to show you that uh, if you did this as 1 over 4 e to the squared, we would get the same answer. So we're going to do 1 divided by 4 e to the positive 2. We got that exact same answer. So either way, whichever feels more comfortable for you, this is our answer.